And the question I have for you, audience out there, is which of these marbles will get to the bottom of the ramp first? Will it be the blue one, the yellow one, the green one, or the red one? Let's go ahead and drop them all right now and see what happens. Okay, so if you were paying attention, you would have noticed that the blue one did get to the bottom first, followed by the yellow, then the green, and the red came in last place. So the question is, why did these marbles get to the bottom at such different times? Well, it has to do with the slopes of the ramps themselves. Uh, the blue one has the steepest slope right off the bat, so you're going to get the marble to gain velocity very quickly and very early on. This gives it a distinct advantage and causes it to finish early. The yellow ramp is technically the shortest distance to the bottom because it is virtually a straight line for most of the trip, but it's not necessarily the shortest time to the bottom. And that's because this slope is less uh, steep, it's more gradual than the blue one, which means the marble is uh, gaining velocity at a slower rate, uh, and so it falls behind. Then we get to the green ramp, which has an even more shallow slope at the start, which means the marble is gaining velocity at a very, very slow rate. This causes a huge disadvantage. By the time it gets to a steeper slope here in the middle, it is already too late. And then of course we have the red ramp, which is the most shallow slope for most of the trip, 